Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Happy Sunday and happy Easter if you celebrate. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a new name to an old series. I am calling this the Weekly Wax and Wix video. And the reason why I decided to change the name is because half this stuff I don't really throw in the trash. I recycle it. And I don't know. I just thought, well, what could be clever for like a weekly video? And I burn candles that have wicks, and I melt wax. So wicks and wax, WW Weekly. So this is going to be the weekly wicks and wax series. So welcome to the first episode. And I have my usual bin filled to the brim with lots of goodies to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, let's start with the candles. I have a lot of candles here, starting with this large jar from Yankee Candle in Iced Banana Pop. As you see, completely burned this one down, finished it up, and I'm sad to say, I didn't really smell much from this, but what I smell in the jar is amazing. It is this creamy banana ice cream dipped in chocolate, the lightest chocolate, which, We'll discuss chocolate here in a second, but oh, this is so good. I love the scent. Just did not perform at all for me. So unfortunately, that was a that was not a win. I might end up freezing this or just popping this little bit in my candle crock just to see if melting the wax might get better than burning it. But I tried this in my bedroom. I tried this in the kitchen. I tried this in all different places and unfortunately just didn't get anything from it which makes me really sad but yeah it did not perform for me all right this guy this is from goose creek this is the first goose creek candle i'll ever talk about on this channel this is the scooby doo collection and it was called rainbow candied sugar doesn't that look just like a bath of body works candle when you look at it and it performed just like a bath of body works candle like it was fine it's a very like sugary rainbow candy i was given this as a valentine's day gift and about right here is when the flame started to get super low just like a bath and body works candle and yeah so it was okay nothing to write home about and i would not like ever think about purchasing a goose creek candle and this really is like okay so they're literally not special at all so oh well not into that oh i'm so glad i finished this candle Paris Cafe. I typically love Paris Cafe, but ugh, I don't know if it was just not the vibe for me this week or what, but whew, rich coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. I love the scent, but this one from the very first burn never performed for me. I mean, they had the thin flat wicks and it just never performed at all. So this was not a win at all. And it just kept throwing like a beast. And I was like, oh my God, okay, like I'm done with a coffee. Like it's a very strong, rich candle. Super just not into that. I finished a single wick from Bath & Body Works in my bathroom in white tea and sage. Love this scent. It gives you that residue that the typical single wicks give, even though this is one of the newer ones. Burned down fine, steady flame, sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. I love, it's very fresh. It's very clean without being like a laundry clean. You get like a hint of white tea. It's definitely more of like an iced tea than a hot tea. It's really pretty. I have some bulbs in there. I did now get a plug in my bathroom. I think I talked about in the last video, but I have a wallflower in now. I have warm vanilla sugar in there now. I can't smell it at all. Scent control on high. So. I don't know if that's gonna be the vibe, a wallflower in there, or maybe I'll just stick with a um, Scentsy wall plug with wax melting, I'm not sure. I have a quarter of a scent shot from Candles by Victoria in Dancing in the Rain, I think it's called. Maybe it's in here. I don't know, maybe it's in here or not, I'm not sure. But it's so strong. And it's in that Julianne Home short stout like gray, um, intensity plug and I have it on the high setting and it is throwing like a beast in there. I want to really stay away from burning candles in the bathroom just because it gets super sooty in like a small space. So I want to try to avoid that at all costs, but yeah, so not a vibe. Anyway, oh, 
this candle. Kringle needs to make this candle in the 100% soy wax. Boston Cream Donut. It burned abysmally. This is in the soy blend. So I popped it in the candle crock. The wicks did stay the same, but I would never burn this. There's no scent left. But what it did smell like, I have this really weird thing with chocolate candles. I burned all three Kringle Easter candles. I burned the bunny twice. That was enough. <laughs> I tucked it away. It's not a vibe. Jelly beans, I'm actually burning right now, right here. It has about this much left. And then I'm burning marshmallow chick in my kitchen. It also has about that much left. Great. Love those. But chocolate like that in wax, not a vibe. I'm burning Fantastic Fudge from Homeworks, the original three wick. Burning great, but the scent, I don't know. Chocolate just makes my house smell like it's dirty. I don't know how else to describe it. It just smells like I need to like wash the walls. Like it just smells so gooey. It just, I don't know. However, this Boston cream donut smells so, it smells just like a Boston cream pie. You get that rich yellow custard, the artificial chocolate sauce, that yeasty donut. It is perfection. Mick, if you're watching this, we need 100% soy three wicks in the Boston cream donut. People would buy it up. I'm obsessed with the jar. It literally has painted Boston cream donuts all over it. Love but I popped that in the candle crock because of the burn. It was amazing. I'm gonna talk about these two sort of together because I burned them in different rooms. I burned this in my living room, Rose and Lychee from Bath and Body Works. Love, you guys, love. Wild Rose, Sugar Lychee or Lychee, however you wanna say it, and Delicate Raspberries. This burned great, all the way down, super strong. Bath & Body Works is nailing it on the marketing, by the way, lately. This collection, the Rose & Lychee, Bergamot Birch, Palo Santo & Sage, Yuzu White Pineapple, and uh, what's the last one? There's five, isn't there? Oh, Vanilla Musk. That candle did not burn that well for me or strong, but this one, I love that you have a wallflower, a hand soap, a candle, and a room spray. Can create a whole vibe. Love the packaging, this minimalistic packaging, the like matte, semi-white lid with the colored label obsessed love this that they're more like upscale scents and this rose and lychee is beautiful lychee is this very sweet berry i know melanie over at mr kong's mom was talking about it she loves eating them they're so delicious they're so sweet a little bit tart and that's captured in this candle with a hint of rose it's beautiful i would totally repurchase that and then I finished, this is just straight up lychee from Diptyque. This was part of the spring collection or Mother's Day collection last year. I can't remember. It's a slightly pink glass, burned all the way down. I burned this in my bedroom, so strong. It was such a vibe in here with these two burning together. Love, I'm gonna repurchase, purpose this jar. All I'll do with this is pop it in the freezer. That little bit of wax and wick clip will come out and then I'll just uh, put like really run this through really hot water just to get it super clean and then reuse this jar like q-tips something like that I'm not sure what I'm going to use this one for I love putting perfume samples in there but this scent from Diptyque phenomenal I love lychee so amazing there um speaking of Diptyque I finished one of the these are their baby 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 candles they're not even for sale they're just like a free gift with purchase in 34, which is like their signature fragrance. This 34 is the first shop that ever opened in Paris, in Saint Germain, and this is called 34 Boulevard Saint Germain. It is like moss, incense, Bulgarian roses, like it is everything in the shop in one. It is phenomenal. This, look how teeny this is compared to a Bath and Body Works. Let's just look. This threw better than a Bath & Body Works candle in my bathroom. Crazy. Like, even comparing it to a single wick. Totally insane. This threw like a beast. I'm telling you, Diptyque is where it's at. Money-wise, like, I, I just love Diptyque. So anyway, obsessed with that. I finished from my friend Melissa over at 1820, which, by the way, thank you all so much for making purchases on her website. She is in East Palestine, Ohio, that had the train derailment awful happening. And she's such a sweet friend. I've known her for 10 plus years now. 
And this is part of her little trio of minis. And this is in Magnolia. I was burning this in my bathroom. Love. It's a beautiful, fresh, white floral. Love her brand. Love her company. They're vegetable wax. So you can see, or plant wax. It burns so clean all the way down. Love her. Love everything about her. And last, Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. If you're watching this, I can't believe it. Anthropology was super kind and gifted me a $500 gift card to uh, purchase some of my favorite candles. And uh, this was one of them that I purchased because it wasn't my money. Capri Blue was on my worst candle brands video. I don't know if all the years of them hearing us no bitch and moan about their candles. Okay, ready? Perfect angle, right? Look at that burn. I'm telling you. Yes, I burned this a long time, but every single time I burn this candle, completely perfect burn. <gasps> I can't believe, I, like, I'm eating my words. I cannot believe that this candle performed like this. I bought another one. I got the silver jar instead of the matte black. I am going to repurpose this. This I'm definitely going to score it with a knife, pop it in the freezer. That way it pops out in pieces, put it in a warmer. But, oh my gosh, performed so well. This is the iconic volcano candle. It's like sugared citrus, a little bit of green. Phenomenal. And the burn was insane. I was blown away because a diptyque or Capri Blue does not burn like this. And I, I just can't believe it. I really can't. I have a pumpkin one too, a pumpkin, the pumpkin clove one that they have. Um, I never ended up getting to burn it last fall, so I will this fall, but I, I cannot believe it. I'm so impressed. I'm not giving them, I'm not, I'm not like giving them the okay that they're the best again, that they're like a good brand with the burn. But this one burned perfectly. It was a vibe. Loved all of it. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it continues that way. Now, I have a lot of beauty this week. I, it just happened to be that I finished a lot of things up this week. I'm not sure. The first thing I finished, one of my favorite skincare brands is Biosance. This is the Squalane and Amino Acid Gentle Cleanser, or Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. If you don't know Biosance, they're more readily available on Sephora, use your points, use your, you know, when they have a VIB sale. They're known for their sugarcane derived squalane. Love this brand. All their products are phenomenal. Not all of them, but all the ones that I use, I really love. This is amazing. Gentle cleanser, one pump, morning and night. Really just a gentle, really calming cleanser for your skin. Really, really like, really impressed. And... Yeah, I actually have a backup of this, but dropped it. Started a new cleanser right now, so I'm just, I'm, I'm trying new things. But yeah, definitely repurchase. Already did. This guy, it doesn't look empty, but I cannot get anything else out without cutting the tube. This is from Beekman 1802. This is the Sunshine Scrub. Beat the Bumps PHA, which is a polyhydroxy acid, which is like the most gentle exfoliating acid. Exfoliator, clinically proven to smooth, rough, and bumpy skin with golden beets, goat milk, which is what Beekman is known for, and 7.5% PHA. <gasps> Listen, after my last body scrub from Lush, that was terrible, this was amazing. I need to get out and repurchase one. I'm actually just cracked open a tree hut scrub. It's my first time ever trying a tree hut scrub. It's a strawberry scrub. It doesn't burn as much as the Lush Scrub does, but it still, like, is burning my skin. I don't know why. This does not. The exfoliators in here, plant-based, 7.5% provides a gentle, natural microdermabrasion. It doesn't say what the scrub is, because PHA is, like, a is an acid, but... <gasps> This feels so good. It's like such an amazing texture. You you can kind of see it in the cap there. It's like this yellow scrub. <gasps> this was amazing. It kind of looks like honey mustard, like or grainy mustard whenever you squeeze it out. But love that it was in a squeeze. Loved the product. It was phenomenal. We'll definitely repurchase this Beekman scrub. 
Really enjoyed that. Speaking of Beekman, I finished one of their hand creams. This is the Honeyed Grapefruit um, hand cream. I have a love-hate relationship with this these hand creams. I have so many of them from being part of the brand for a while. And it just is super thin, like super thin. Here, actually a little bit squirted out. Um, it's like so thin. Can you see that? Like, I mean, it like, it moisturizes, but I feel like I need to put more on in like five minutes. Like you can snap after putting on the hand cream, but I just feel like sometimes it's not moisturizing enough. But like I leave it in my car because after I like leave the gym and I wash my hands, I get really dry really fast. So putting that on and still being able to like hold the steering wheel and stuff, it works. I just feel like sometimes I need a little bit more. They do have a hand salve that I really, really enjoy. But that's like sometimes a little bit too thick, especially for like the warmer months. So I enjoy it, but it's not my favorite hand cream. I will say this is my favorite cuticle product. This is the L'Occitane 30% uh, Nail Cuticle Oil. <gasps> this is amazing. I get the driest and like crackiest cuticles from washing my hands so much. And putting this on every night before bed, it just like soothes my cuticles. And it has that signature L'Occitane Shea um, fragrance, which is like a baby wipe scent. It sounds like baby wipes. I know that's weird, but it's actually really comforting and I really enjoy it. So, finished that up, and that was all the beauty. I don't have a ton of wax, actually, but I have enough, so we're just gonna dive in. It's probably gonna just be a mix of Scentsy and Vendor. I'm not separating it. Maybe I will, I don't know. I'm just gonna dive in and go with the flow. I finished from Dessa's Homespun Scents Circus Concession. This was funnel cake, caramelized apple, cotton candy with hints of smoldering bonfire. I think I've said this before, I switched to all hot plates in my office so I can finish up the little bit of vendor wax that I have left. And then I'm converting to Scentsy. Nothing in vendor wax except for Teddy Bee's I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples is worthy of me hoarding it. Or like nothing that I crave so much that I can't get from Scentsy, if that makes any sense. And again, I've gone over why I like Scentsy more. But this was weird. The smoldering bonfire threw it off. Like, it was a very sweet, cotton candy, funnel cakey vibe. And then it had, like, smoldering bonfire. So that was a little strange. This, though. Oh, oh, my God. These I got, this one was July of 2021. And this was August of 2021. It's two from Destination Wax. It's, like, their clamless clamshells. Scottish Hearth. And Wood Smoke. I did this in my office yesterday. I opened the window, put these in the warmers. I cut them in six and six and did two cubes, one of each in my six warmers. It was like way too much. Like, and I like a smoky scent, but this was a little bit too much. I just wanted to use them up. Wood smoke, straight up smoky campfire or fireplace scent, a fantastic blender. And this one, Old world hearth fire of fresh applewood boughs tossed onto burning logs of white birch. I mean, this is the strongest scent I think I've ever had in my life. It was like almost intoxic. It was like almost like nauseating. It was so burny wood. Not, mm -mm, nope, glad it was done. I actually had to turn it off at night and it was still going. I'm like, nope, I can't do it anymore. This from Vintage Chic Scents and What Baking Can Do. This is a four pack of coins. I actually did this this morning in my bedroom. Went to the gym, came back, couldn't smell it at all anymore. It lasted like an hour. This is orange juice dreamsicle cake topped with whipped cream. Love the scent. It just totally didn't perform. I finished from Rose Girls Date Night. Love this scent. This is Biolage, Twilight Woods, and Pink Sugar. I got this in January of last year, and it performed well. It smelled like you walked into a hair salon when you walked into my office. Master of Suspense from Vintage Chic Scents, Booberry Lemon Poppy Seed. This I did in my bedroom in a... Um, I have two Salernos, the Simply Diamond and the Flower Garden. I cut this into thirds and did it in each of my Salernos because it's a big warmer and the Simply Diamond, and I got like an hour worth of scent. It was a film bar. 
This is incredible. This is from Dessa's. It's a custom loaf. It's not my custom. I forget even who I saw this from. Chestnuts and brown sugar, fireflies, and Palo Santo. This is another one of those vendor scents that I actually would repurchase, and I really do enjoy Dessa. And this is incredible. This is really, really good. It was like a smoky, sweet scent. Chestnuts and brown sugar is just such an incredible blend. From L3, this is Bluebeard. This is our more masculine version of pink mustache, blue sugar, pistachio, and savory bakery. This was okay. I mean, I just smelled like I had something in the warmers in my office, but I couldn't really detect anything. I like could tell it was like blue sugar, but no pistachio. I'm not sure what pink mustache is. It was in a bougie bar. I have one more of those because I purchased two at a time there. I finished, ooh. Oh, I definitely have two of these. This is from Fantasy Wax. Is this the other one? Yep. These were her snap bars. I finished two in Blackberry Scone. I could not even smell that, so. Ooh, this was phenomenal, though. This is it? Yep. I finished two of the scent shots from Fantasy Wax in Kristen's. Kirsten's Fave 2022 Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Pumpkin Pecan Waffle and Pretzel. I have six warmers in the office. I cut each of these in half and I put them in four of the six warmers. It went all day. This is so good. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie is just one of my favorite scent oils from a vendor. It's sweet with the juicy strawberry, buttery, cake, buttery cookie, phenomenal. And then the like sweet from the pumpkin pecan waffles and the salty from the pretzel. Delicious, love. I did a poinsettia from Vintage Chic Scents in Sweeney's Barbershop. Fresh strawberries blended with minty shaving cream. Always enjoy this one. It's just a bright, delicious strawberry scent. I did Yule Ball from Fantasy Wax in the kitchen. This is iced lemon cookies. This was okay, it smelled just like a lemon cookie like a sweet sugary lemon. It kind of gave me like Bath and Body Works sugared lemons as vibes. I did this from Vintage Chic. God, that's good. Fresh blackberries blended with rosemary mint shaving cream. Um, It was fine. Let's see. I did, oh, this was gross. This smelled like straight up plastic. Zul from Super Tarts. Blackberry plum and graham crackers. Oh. Yeah, this smelled like plastic. Like, it smelled like if you went to Walmart and they had, like, a blackberry candle and you smelled it, like, from that, like, really cheap, like, $2 candle line. Oh, this was gross. Um, from Candles by Victoria, I finished Lilac. This was a scent shot. I did it, ha I cut it literally in half, did one half in my, dropped it. In my office, and it was so good, so strong. Love lilac, love candles by Victoria. All right, let's go into the clams from Scentsy. I was feeling up some ple sweet plum pastry. You know how I feel about this. Love it. sweet, delicious plum. People said they can't smell the pastry, and like, I don't necessarily think it smells like a pastry, but it smells like it's like a cakey, like something really rich and decadent that it's on top of, or like a scone or something. It's so good and that needs to be voted back. Mountain Sunset. I did this in my bedroom and it wasn't super strong. What I could smell I liked, it kind of smelled like, like a man got out of the shower and was getting dressed and like you could smell like the lingering coconut scented men's body wash. Like if, the, if he bought a shower gel geared towards men that was coconut scented, if that makes any sense. Like it was like, was kind of masculine, but coconut masculine. Interesting. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I will say the new Father's Day line, Sensi Consultants can order it early tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. And, um, oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. The scent sounds so good. And then the rest of these, Oh, this one, and then we'll get to Easter. <gasps> pineapple Rose. I just don't know how I feel about Pineapple Rose yet. I want to love it. But I feel like once I put it in the warmers, I don't love it as much. It is powdery rose mixed with juicy pineapple, and it's definitely powdery rose. I will say, if this, like, clears it up, 
if somebody said, Drew, you can either keep Pineapple Rose from the Scent of the Month or Heirloom Rose from the Epcot Collection in your club, Heirloom Rose 100%. Pineapple, I love the scent of pineapple. Love the scent of pineapple and wax. This is just a little too powdery. It just doesn't seem like it mixes together. I'm not sure. All right. Gonna be 100% honest, not impressed with the Easter collection at all. I did two of each. I did them in my living room, dining room, kitchen area. So I have Pinkberry Fluff right here. This only smelled for two days like I had something sweet in the warmers. Like, just like a very light marshmallow wax. That's about it. Like, it smells good in the clam. It smells like a sweet, fruity marshmallow. But... It just was not super strong and it didn't, it wasn't distinctive enough that I'd be like, oh yeah, I want more of that or it would go in my club. I don't know. I did Violet Sponge Sugar. I have two of those and it reminds me of something that we have already. Is it Pink Sunshine? Is it Pink Sunshine? It could be from Valentine's Day, the fragrance flower scent. But it wasn't really strong either. Like, it was just like a light violet. And violet's not my favorite floral. So, I don't know. I'm not impressed. And then the last one I actually have going right now. I thought it would be a good vibe with the jelly beans from Kringle. Mandarin zest. I know this is very... Even the color of the wax is like... It's like not colored enough. It's like definitely super, super light. Not like this. Like very pale yellow. There's other citruses that I like. Like, again, if if at the end of the year or at the end of the season, for some reason, if they say squeeze the day is leaving or lemon sorbet or lemon drizzle cake, I actually really like lemon drizzle cake. I know I'm in the minority there, but this would not be a citrus that I would keep in my club. It's fine. It's like citrus, again, not super strong. I think the new Scentsy Bars you have got to let cure. Now, I don't know how people say they see dates and stuff. I've never, ever been able to see a date on any of them. Like, I see, like, something printed in where the Idaho made in the USA is, but I don't know. Anyway, this was just okay. Definitely, like I said, not a citrus that I would repurchase. Lemon sorbet, squeeze the day, way better in my opinion. And, yeah, all I have in here are the tags from the wallflowers that I currently have, which is warm vanilla sugar, which I was just talking about in my bathroom, and in my kitchen, yuzu and white pineapple. Love, this is amazing. What are the notes? Yuzu, citrus, tropical pineapple, and fresh star fruit. Yeah, this is incredible. I love this scent, we'll definitely get more of that. And now my bin is completely empty. Let me know what you guys got through this week, any highlights, and let me know down below, I worked on some candles this week, but I don't include them here until they're empty because I feel like it's kind of redundant to talk about them now and then talk about them in a, like next week's video when I finish them. So let me know down below if you want me to include the candles that I've been burning because I definitely have a few like going now and I have a few that are like in the rotation that I'm working on. So let a boy know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a new video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you all so much and have a good one. Bye guys.